Hi, welcome back. I'm trying out a new camera angle. You're up here instead of over there. Oh, and you're upside down. That's better. Today we've got what looks like three circles, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. These are actually turbines. They're drag turbines, not that kind of drag. These extract power from the air by slowing that air down, which is different from an airfoil design that relies on lift. Yes, like an airplane. Brrr. Let's take a closer look at these three designs and then test them to see which is the most powerful. Brrr. The first design is from Dan. Dan is a regular around these parts and has been in several turbine test videos. This creation is called the four blade torque turbine. And I'm gonna say it, it kind of looks like he's going after the best looking turbine award. Watch out, Moby Obi. Now, Dan has a bit of a reputation around here. His turbines are usually top-notch monsters, and several times they've broken my wind tunnel. Let's hope we've moved past that. Next up is a turbine by another YouTuber, Robert Down Robert Murray Smith. Robert likes to make videos highlighting sustainable technologies, power generation, batteries, and just all sorts of things. And recently he published a video about this turbine. He designed and released this model for everyone to use and test. It's a turbine inspired by the Pelton style hydro turbines. Usually when I see a Pelton wheel, it's used in a small scale hydroelectric generator. They have little nozzles that spray water directly into these little cups, and they don't experience a lot of drag on the backside of those cups. In my wind tunnel, that's not going to be the case. They're going to experience a lot of drag caused by the back of these cups. And of course, I've linked to Robert's video down in the description, where he explains this a lot better than I do. That's enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get these in the wind tunnel. That's actually my fault.
All right, well, let's look at the scoreboard. Let's start with Robert's Pelton wheel. It produced 0.4489 watts at a slightly higher RPM of 1060 and an efficiency of 1.1692%. Finally, Dan's torque turbine, reaching nearly 1800 RPMs and making 1.1602 watts and an efficiency of 3.1056%, it tops today's contestants, putting the new torque turbine in eighth place, the Pelton wheel in 15th. What did we learn today? Um, well, use the full 100 by 186 millimeter area allowed by the rules. And it kind of seems like water turbines work better in water, at least this one. Oh, and I also put all of the raw data from each of the tests on my GitHub. So you jelly Binguses can check my math. I'll leave a link to that along with all of the information that you need to submit your own design down in the description. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked what we did today and subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Okay, thanks. Bye.